Joining us in the studio is Professor Volker Quaschning, an expert on renewables from the University for Applied Sciences here in Berlin. Now, that sounds really great, the fast-growing trees. Is that the key solution to our energy problems of the future? Okay, in Germany we want to go to 100% renewables and for that way the biomass production is very important. So we see 10, 15%, mainly 20 we can cover here with biomass and for that we have to look what type of biomass we are using for that. We can use, for example, here a corn and uh, produce here biofuels from that for a car uh, driving here. Um, this is a big discussion because for that we need a lot of fertilizers and a lot of uh, environmental problems we have here. And, that, and of course, yeah. we're in a certain competition with a yeah. food plant, which has yeah. driven the prices. I mean, for example, in Mexico, we found that quite extreme. So. No problem with trees anymore, right? Yeah, that's the most in interesting point. So from the eth ethical point of view, so these plants are very good. So we have no competition here for food production. And it's a very sustainable way for growing plants here in, mm -hmm. the, in the sector. And what kind of potential do you see in Germany? I mean, we have lots of forests here already. Yes, we have forests. But uh, if we are using all biomass we can collect here during a, ye a year, we see about 15% we can cover here with biomass from the total energy demand. And these uh, plants here, they can only cover a part of the biomass sector. So we see mainly one, two or three percent they can cover from the total energy demand. But it's an important part here we can use. But for. as you just said, there is a big problem with the fertilizers, with usual biomass plants for corn or rapeseeds, for example, which has ruined the eco balance. So is there a chance to actually improve that or should we just forget about corn and rapeseeds and just grow? fast-growing trees. Yeah, under my point of view, we should do both with the plants. So we can use the plants for food production, so the corn itself, mm -hmm. and we can use the residues of the plants here and uh, produce here energy out of the residues. And this is a good idea to do that. So we need the plants for the food production, residues for the energy production, and then we can do it in a sustainable way. But the technology for just using the residues is not really working well so far. It's, it's expensive. So the technology works. We know what to do, but it cannot compete here at the moment to fuel oil, to the conventional crude oil, and that we have to solve. But if we have a solution for that, it's a good way we can go. Mm -hmm. What about the energy you can actually harvest from trees or from biomass? So, okay, we can collect uh, efficiency. So, uh, about a half percent of the solar energy incoming is, uh, cover is collected here and uh, converted to biomass energy. And if you compare it to uh, photovoltaics, for example, modern solar cells uh, reach about 20 percent efficiency. So, uh -huh. the efficiency of the plants is much lower than, for example, the efficiency of solar cells. It's very low, actually. Yeah. So, <laughs> can we still save the climate with these trees or with biomass? I think we need it because the storage is already included in, in the plants and this is the advantage compared mm -hmm. to photovoltaics. So if you have solar electricity we have to use it at the same time when the sun is shining or we need a storage. Biomass we can harvest here, it grows during summer times and we can use the biomass energy during winter and mm -hmm. this is a big advantage we have here in the biomass sector. So biomass could come up for about 15 to 20 percent of our energy needs. What about the rest? Where does it come from? Okay, mm -hmm. so the, as we have talked about, uh, the efficiency of solar energy or solar cells is much higher. So we see the highest potential in Germany for wind and solar energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we combine all, te all technologies, your solar energy, wind energy and biomass, we can come to 100% renewables. Let's hope so. Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Thank you. Well.